Now, microtubules come at the chromosomes from both poles, and so how does the kinetic core know which ones it should bind to? Experiments suggest that kinetic cores will bind any microtubule, either its wall or its plus end, and they have a fairly high affinity for the plus end, and they can't choose between east pole or west pole, but what makes the decision is that the attachment is going to form and become stable only when the kinetic or microtubule junction is under tension. That is, when this kinetic core is being pulled one way and its sister is being pulled in the other way. And any other form of attachment is not stable. And the evidence for this has come from some beautiful experimental work by Bruce Nicholas, whom I mentioned before is one of the master micromanipulators. This is a grasshopper spermatocyte, chromosomes shown here, and this is meiosis 1, and so each of these is actually a bivalent chromosome, which makes them large and easy to work with, and there's a kinetic ore down here and a kinetic ore up here. These chromosomes are big enough and these cells are tough enough that Nicholas has been able to manipulate them by taking a microneedle and reaching into the cell and interacting with a chromosome. And I'm going to show you a movie that displays this now. There's the needle. It's coming in and interacting with this chromosome. And the chromosome then, of course, starts to try to reorient. But Nicholas comes back in and knocks it back. And it tries to get up there again. And now he's pulling hard on that chromosome and pulls off that attachment. So now this chromosome is sitting there with no spindle attachment. What's it going to do? Well, it sort of uncoils because it probably has a little elasticity to it, and by chance it's the other kinetic core that interacts with the spindle and is now drawn back up towards the pole. And so what you're seeing now is the process of congression to the metaphase plate of a bi-oriented chromosome in which sisters have found sister poles. And this is known to be a stable arrangement.